This is how much Uber made in total profits outside of the United States in 2019. If we overlay the taxes paid in each of the regions, we get an effective tax rate of 4.2%. The tax benefits enjoyed by Uber unfortunately came at a hefty price for its drivers, as newly leaked documents show that Uber drivers pay millions of dollars in additional taxes as a direct consequence. Double dipping tax structures were very common in the early 2000s, with Facebook, Google, Apple, all implementing different versions. But increasing public pressure led governments around the world to crack down on these structures. And by the time Uber implemented their own in 2013, the company was fully aware of the bad press this could attract. One of the leaked documents show a statement from an Uber senior executive saying that certain topics such as corporate taxation are sensitive and generate a lot of criticism. Another statement read, it is the Bermuda or the Cayman part that really makes so many people angry in Europe. Even just not being part of the Caribbean thing would put us way ahead of the pack when it comes to US tech companies. And despite knowing all this, Uber still went full steam ahead with the implementation of the tax structure. But why? This seems so counterintuitive to their goal of global expansion, where you'd want to keep the local authorities happy. The Uber legal structure made it difficult for tax authorities around the world to know how much the citizens were earning through the app. So one thing became very appealing to foreign governments, driver's data. To shift the attention away from their own tax structure, Uber reached compromises with governments around the world by promising to hand over driver's data such as date of birth, license plates, number of trips, and bank accounts. In a confidential email to Uber executives, a tax manager noted that the sharing of information poses little financial risk to Uber but will result in immediate financial liability for partner drivers. And with all the new data at their disposal, foreign governments simply had to enforce tax collection, resulting in millions of dollars in additional tax revenue. But what was it about the structure that was so offensive that Uber was willing to sacrifice their drivers for? If you've taken Uber outside of the United States, you may have noticed that your money is taken by Uber BV, BV is a Dutch acronym used by companies formed in the Netherlands. But why is all the money being funneled into the Netherlands? Before 2019, the CVBV structure was a very popular setup among US multinationals to avoid tax on their non-US profits. If you paid $100 for an Uber in Bangalore, India, that $100 would be paid to Uber BV in the Netherlands. $80 would be returned to the driver in Bangalore leaving $20 in Uber BV. From there, $19 is paid out to Uber International CV as a royalty in exchange for Uber BV to be able to use the Uber app technology for its Indian operations. While the $1 is taxed in the Netherlands, the $19 paid as a royalty remains untaxed, simply because Uber International CV was intentionally formed to avoid taxation. The company was headquartered in Bermuda, but the country does not tax corporate profits. The US views the company as a Dutch company, so the profits are therefore not subject to US taxation. The Netherlands, on the other hand, views Uber International CV as controlled by US owners, maintaining a headquarter in Bermuda, and therefore not taxable in the Netherlands.